What's up guys, it's Drek, and this is the Air Warriors Thermal Zenith. Now this is more of a pistol class, but it's a pump action pistol, which is sort of wild. So it's a pump action pistol revolver. Reminds me a little bit of the Vagabond, but obviously much, much less expensive. Coming at us from Busby's Air Warriors line. Now this is new, we got to tinker with it at New York Toy Fair, but it's definitely a little bit different than the version that we saw there. Now it's trapped in here with these uh, wires, but it should not be too terribly difficult to relinquish it from its cardboard prison. And then as cool as this is, it also has the tech that um, allows for this thermal hunter scope, or I guess they're calling it the heat seeking scope, complete with the rail adapter. I'm not even going to take this one out of the package, however, because I've already got one out here that has batteries loaded up in it. Uh, this seems to be a very inexpensive add-on for Busby to include in pretty much anything, which is wild because it's so remarkably inexpensive. Now, hilariously, the uh, handle on this is a little bit better, although it's got a weird notch right there. This seems to be, I hope, it's completely unnecessary. It, it's sort of funky. It's almost like a, I don't know, like a gas tube. It's, uh, I don't know what to make of it. It's just a weird nub on the back here that serves no actual purpose. Now, you could throw a paracord through here to kind of sling this. It also, of course, has those uh, those Busby rails, which means that it will accept. That's weird. The way that this is on here, it's making it very difficult to, maybe if we go in reverse, so you can't slide forward because of this nub, but again, this uh, is green normally, and then if you hit anything that's particularly warm, uh, like a living body or a mammal, uh, it will turn red, so red for dead. However, in hot situations, it will turn blue and just give you a blue crosshair up in there so that you don't have to worry about it changing color on you and it just becomes a sort of holographic sight. Now, the pistol itself has a really heavy prime, which uh, is good because this is claiming ranges of up to 90 feet. Those are some pretty ambitious range claims for a pistol, although I think it's pretty safe to assume that this will have primary class uh, plunger size inside it, which is why it is so very large for a pistol. But I'm, uh, I'm excited. These are by far the best of the Busby darts that I've gotten to tinker with so far. Let's see how far they seat into this cylinder. Now, unlike the other Busby blasters I've tested so far, this only comes with six, so it's only enough to load the blaster itself. Um, don't have to worry about cross compatibility in terms of magazines because it's not magazine fed. Seems to have a pretty tight fit on these 50 cal darts. And again, like this is a super comfortable pump grip. I almost wish that the Thermal Hunter had had this. If I could just splice the two together, I think we'd have a much better system. But firing from a standing position, we should be getting ranges of 90 feet. Let's go. And we're not. Maybe angled. Angled is much closer to 90 feet, still only getting about 80. Uh, however, the performance is solid. Let's come down here, grab a couple of our AccuFakes. These are not genuine AccuStrike darts, but they are identical uh, in terms of their function. So we'll slide those in as well, because why not? It seems to be rotating on the prime, and we'll start with the genuine darts. So these should be very accurate. Very strange. We must have had a failure to rotate on one of those. Hilariously, we only hit it with the knockoff dart. Uh, that is, that could very easily be just a result of variance. Not enough of a sample size here to tell. So it's not particularly expensive. It does look pretty good. I really like the uh, the thermal zenith paint scheme with the gray and the, uh, the white on the, the red, especially since it's kind of like a darker red, it's not quite that fire truck red that a lot of toy companies tend to go with. So we'll load this up with a few genuine and a few knockoff darts here just so that we can get uh, a slightly larger sample size for those range shots. It's a cool pistol. However, I've left it out here for this purpose. At around this price point, I think that you're much better off spending a little bit more money to get yourself a tactical storm. Even though the darts aren't my favorite, uh, this is ergonomically a more practical blaster that comes with a lot more stuff on it. So if the tactical nature of it or just having a bunch of magazines is worth it to you, the, the rapid reloads could be very cool. But that is my review of the Thermal Zenith. Not a bad blaster by any means, just not 
uh, particularly remarkable when compared to the other offerings that Busby has given us, which have been so very good. I will uh, compliment uh, Alex Brands on having all of this interesting stippling throughout the blaster. It really gives it uh, more texture, and these are starting to feel way more solid. Like these are these are higher quality toys than have been offered in previous years, and that in and of itself is an incredible step in the right direction. It makes me very, very excited to see not only their holiday lineup after this, but also whatever they choose to bring to us in 2018. That uh, that concludes this review. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know what you think of the Thermal Zenith in the comment section below. Uh, if you have an opinion on this blaster, I'd really, really love to, to get that feedback. So thank you guys. Much love. Nerf on, Drek out. Uh, 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 uh.